Kessler syndrome, worst case scenario. A routine Viasat launch slips into low Earth orbit and crosses paths with a forgotten Cold War spy satellite, screaming retrograde at 30,000 miles an hour, opposite directions, zero time to dodge. When they meet, two objects become a thousand pieces, each fragment now a bullet traveling faster than any rifle round ever fired. Most satellites orbit east, retrograde ones go west, a head-on collision doubles the closing speed, the orbital version of a 60,000 mile an hour car crash. One smash spawns ten, ten spawns ten thousand, a runaway chain reaction that fills low earth orbit with shrapnel. This is Kessler syndrome. Within hours, internet constellations blinded. Earth imaging satellites gone. The ISS a sitting duck in a shooting gallery. Astronauts trapped until the storm passes, if it ever does. Down here, the lights start flickering. Global comms blackouts. GPS drift. Weather models blind. Financial markets frozen. For the first time in 70 years, humanity is locked out of space. And the terrifying part? We already have all the ingredients. 15,000 satellites today, hundreds of thousands of untracked pieces, and no traffic cop in the sky. It's not science fiction, it's physics on a delay timer. The good news? It's still preventable. Real orbital traffic control, mandatory deorbits, actual debris cleanup. But the clock is ticking. I'm breaking down the full chain reaction and the fixes that might save us in my next long forum deep dive. Hit the bell so you don't miss it because the bullets are already in flight. And that concludes this briefing. Follow for future transmissions. Stay sharp, stay curious. Commander Cooper, out.